Okay, I wanted to make uh, sure I highlighted a small change to the RDA helper. Um, as folks know, um, I've been looking at uh, how to uh, improve the ability to work with uh, linking fields in the RDA helper. Uh, one of the last ones that was worked on was the ability to be able to take the 260 field, identify that there is a linked record, and then make changes to the 260 field that it was linked to. Um, it was brought to my attention that um, one of the places that would be uh, useful to also do this work is in a field like this where you have the 245. Um, if you remove the GMD from this 245, it would be completely appropriate to want to remove the GMD from the 245 down below. Um, that hadn't been happening uh, in the RDA helper because it wasn't something I was thinking about when I uh, started looking at linking fields. And so what I ended up doing was I worked with the RDA helper to make that happen. So now when you select delete GMD, uh, the tool in addition to evaluating the 260 for linking data will be evaluating the title uh, for a linking field. And if a linking field is found um, and a subfield H is removed from the 245 um, that is uh, not the, the 245 that's linked, it will go find the linking field and remove it from the linking field as well. Uh, so if I run this process here um, and take a look at the results, you can see what I mean. Um, in this case, the 245, you'll see that the subfield H has been removed. If we go down and find its linked equivalent down here, we will see that the 245 subfield H has been removed um, from this field as well. Uh, so this hopefully allows you to remove um, one step that I know some folks have been doing manually um, to handle um, the uh, uh, changes when, when linked field data changes. So it's fairly straightforward change. Um, uh, that was the only change to the RDA helper, but uh, hopefully it's a useful one for folks.